Well, Steve White, Steve White, say nine. Well, it's an exciting day for Star Trek fans and well, Star Trek model enthusiasts. It appears the original three-foot Enterprise model, which was made for the cage in 1964, has been found. It was kind of thought, well, it was lost, but it was sort of thought destroyed for a long time. Um, it was loaned out to some licensee by Dean Roddenberry in the 1970s, and it has disappeared, and I don't think it's been seen since then. I think the last time it was seen was when it was sitting on Dean Roddenberry's desk. Um, yeah, it's, it's basically the one that the the um, the Polar Lights models are based on, like the size is three feet. Um, and from the photos, it looks like it looks like it's the real thing. There's um, been some analysis done online, so people have some high quality photos. I had the same photos, but theirs were better quality, and you can see a lot of little details. So it's either an incredibly good replica, which someone has made at some point to recreate that um, model for someone, or it's the original one. There's a bit of damage, um, it's made out of wood like the original, there's a few little um, odd things, like they've put um, a lot of the um, window, windows and panels, they've put hologram stickers on and stuff like that, which is weird, but um, aside from that and some paint being scratched off, it's in pretty good condition and it's just really exciting to think that, um, you know, we could have it back and, you know, maybe see it or something, maybe we'll go up, you know, next to the... Um, the Enterprise at the Smithsonian, the, the 11 foot model would be good to reunite them. But um, yeah, it was basically on an eBay. Um, someone was selling it. Um, um, it was, I think, $1,000 for starting bid. And it was listed as Rare Custom Star Trek USS Enterprise Spaceship by Richard Datton. Now, I don't know if that's the guy who originally made it because I can't remember the name of the person who originally made it. I mean, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The rich, the small free fort enterprise constructed by Richard C. Datton out of wood from plans from Matt Jeffries. Um, yeah, so it looks like that's the original that was made by him. It's um got a um a little sticker underneath the um base, and yeah, I I, I can't. Im I mean, I guess it could be a fake, but I mean, how would you sell it if, if it was if it was a f fake? Um, it'd be hard to get away with it, and even if you could get away with it, it's kind of stolen. Um, but I don't know, I guess someone ended up with it, I guess a Star Trek fan got their hands on it, walked off with it, quietly kept it as a little, you know, prized possession, and I guess maybe they passed on and end up with some relative, and they're like, oh, it's a custom model Enterprise. It's old, maybe I can sell that for like a $1,000. Um, I don't think they knew what it was. Um, Obviously, they would have listed it as shooting model or something, and they would have taken it to an auction house or someone because I don't know how much the original went for, but um, this could go for a lot of money as well. But I just really hope, I don't know, maybe they'll have some class and donate it to the Smithsonian so it can join the other enterprise. Um, now, the listing was only up for like a day. Uh, we're guessing Rod Roddenberry had it taken down because if it, if it was given to his father by Paramount and he actually had it, because he it was in his possession, he loaned it out. We would assume it was his property, so he would be the rightful owner, or his son would be the rightful owner, so I guess, I don't know. I don't know who got it, um, Gene's estate. Um, I don't know what Majel did with it, because Gene died a lot long, lot long, longer before, um, I can't talk, it's too early in the morning, but um, it's just so exciting, that I, 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 cause I might, if someone buys it who allows it to be, you know, displayed publicly, I might actually get to see it one day, because um, I do still intend to actually go to the Smithsonian and see the original Enterprise somehow, some way, just like I intend to go visit the um, the houses from Halloween and the original Amityville house and stuff like that. Um, I want to do like a little movie location, you know, tour and stuff like that at some point. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it, and it makes me want to now build my model because I've got like a sort of like that version of it, that, that scale of it sitting over there. Actually, I've got, do I have two of them? No, I've only got one of the original. I've got two of the movie Enterprise and the NX. I still need to buy a second of the original so I can just do a quick painted version of it just for the fun of it and then later on do a better, more accurate, perfect version with all the lighting and that when I can really take the time. 
I, I really have been meaning to do like an impulsive one for years, but I'm not doing that till I buy a second one, you know. So yeah. I'm just really excited. I'm just really happy. Um, I've been talking for five minutes. I need to stop because I don't have any information other than it was up for a day. Um, the guy's name was Storage Buyer Ninety. Um, or how do you describe it? Um, what was the description? Um, item described from the seller. The ship is custom-made spaceship by Richard Darton Jr. Made of wood and hand-painted. It is one in one, very rare and very old. It will have it's aging like wooden cracks and sticker peeling off. Very nice for a collection, 32 inches long. Um, used an item that has been used previously. See the seller's listing, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I'm just so glad we, fi we finally got it back, I think.